Hey, hey, welcome to the Good Morning Get Moving Workout. Now this workout is a bit different from the other ones we usually do. It's not a full workout where you're blasting it, going as hard as you can, trying to sweat it all out and you know burn as many calories as you can. What this one's about is you know when you wake up in the morning and you're like, oh God, oh that's tight, oh that's a bit stiff, oh I did legs yesterday, my legs are killing. What we're looking to do is loosen you up. Okay, so this is only gonna be 10 minutes long, we're gonna get everything moving, get everything a little bit looser so that you can wake up, get this done, start your day, feel much better for it. All right, so we're doing five exercises, five movements really, if you like. And again, they're gonna be 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. We're only gonna do it two times, so it's only 10 minutes. So make sure you've got some water in case you do get a bit out of breath, get a bit of dry mouth. You don't really need to do a warm up for this one because this one is the warm up. All right, and in case you were wondering, yes, this is supposed to look like my bed head, and yes, these are my pajamas. All right, so I'm gonna crack on in 30 seconds. Yeah, I wanna stand up on this. Sounds lovely that. Anyway, first exercise we've got is just gonna get you warm, get you moving, get all the blood flowing to make all the other exercises a lot easier as a result, okay? So that's gonna be star jumps. Dead simple, you've done them before. Start all together, jump out right up to the top with those fingers, okay? I want them touching at the top, and then back down. Dead easy, as many times as you can. Off we go. So just a little hop out to the side, and as you move your legs out, your arms go out to touch, ooh, I fell, right at the top, okay? So the more you move your arms, the more you get out of it to warm your shoulders up. One other thing when you're doing this, try and keep your arms back as you move them, rather than over at the front, okay? Whew, okay, that's star jumps, so you should be a little bit out of breath now, a little bit warmer, because I am. The next one we've got is static toe taps, okay? So what that means, you're gonna separate your legs out a little bit, not too far. You're gonna put your arms out to the side, just bend your knees a little bit. Take this right hand, Twist down, touch your left toes, stand up, take your left hand, tap down on your right toes and come back up. Just start to move through your spine, get a lot of twisting going on and come up. So try and keep your back as straight as you can for now and bend your knees if you need to. Making sure you're standing up in between each one. I don't want you to just be doing this because by standing up, you're gonna be warming up down your back, your glutes, your hamstrings, and that's gonna help in the next one. Almost done, there we go. Cool, so third one, we got something called a frog squat. What that means, I'll go this way to show you. I want you to stand with your heels just outside your hips. I want you to reach down for me, bend your knees, your hips, whatever you need, and grab a hold of your toes. From there, you're gonna keep hold, Bum down as low as you can, and then keep in hold, get your bump up as high as you can, okay? If you can get up all the way, brilliant. If you can't, don't worry. Now my legs are really tight today, because I trained legs the other day, and you know it's always worse the second day. So this one's gonna be good for me to get my hamstrings nice and warm and loosened up. Now if you can only go from here to here, that's absolutely fine, because as you practice this, you get better and better, and eventually you get lower and higher as you go through it. You might even find you manage that today. Okay, cool, that's number three. Number four, we've got something I call a hip hinge, and this is a very, very important movement, and it's quite difficult, it takes a while to get it right, so don't worry if you feel like you haven't got it today. What it looks like, same position as the last one, I want you to soften your knees, stick your bum out like a duck, okay? So sticking it right out, arching your back there, and then just pushing that back, and then coming down with your chest. So you wanna try and keep it nice, straight back, and stand back up. Just keep your hands on your chest for now, and come up again. You'll feel a stretch in your hamstrings if you get it right. And this one is brilliant for the bum and the hamstring. So if you're trying to build up your bum, get a nice 
round booty. This is exactly what you want to be doing. None of these kickbacks, less of this banded stuff. If you want to bomb, you've got to be doing hip hinges and eventually deadlifts and hip thrusts, okay? But we'll get to that another time. Last one, we're going to get down on the ground for a lunge and twist. What that means, when you're up in a plank position, okay? Bring one foot forward, lift up that hand, twist out, come down and swap sides. So leg forward as far as you can, twist out on the same side. Got it? So again, if you can only get a little bit further forward, if you can only get to here, do it. Don't worry about it. Same on the other side. And again, just like everything else, it might get a bit easier and you might get a bit further with everyone. So you should be feeling this as you lunge forward, right down in here, okay? I'll show you on the other side, right in there, okay? Around the inside of the hips. Adding in a twist, doing a bit more for the spine again. Whew, okay, that's one round. I am definitely warm, definitely a bit out of breath. So again, this is really good for getting you moving, getting you going in the morning. It's only 10 minutes. But anyway, back to the first one, second round, that's everything, star jumps. Start at 10 seconds. Grab yourself a little bit of water if you want it. Whew. Okay, slide jumps again for round two. And go. So remember, as high as you can with those fingers. Getting that full range of motion in the shoulders. Getting them warm. Remember, try and keep the hands back, not forwards, okay? Last 10 seconds. Almost done. Two, one. Okay, cool. Star jumps all done for today. Next one, static toe tap. So remember, feet apart, arms out. Just soften your knees. Right hand goes down to the left foot. Left hand goes down to the right foot. Okay, I'm just gonna grab a bit of water. Alright, we're starting in five seconds. Ready? Hands up. Soften the knees. Off we go. Reach down, stand up. Reach down, stand up. Remember, you're standing up in between each one. Not twisting. We don't want that. We're going to stand up nice and tall. Take that other arm right up high. So again, as much twist as we can in this spine as we're lifting up. So we don't want it to just be tap, tap. We want it to be twist out the other side, okay? Whew. Third one, frog squat. So remember, you're reaching down, you're grabbing a hold of your toes, you're sticking your bum down, and holding your toes will help you to get lower, actually, because it'll give you a bit more balance. And then you're gonna come up as high as you can, keeping hold of those toes, and then coming right back down as best as you can. If it's only a little bit of movement, that's cool. That's where you're at. It will get better the more you do it. And if you do this every day, if you start putting this in, you're going to get a lot looser and a lot more mobile in no time. Just think, this is basically 10 minutes of stretching. How much stretching do you do right now? If you added 10 minutes in every morning, as you get up, maybe do it after a warm shower so your muscles are nice and warm. 10 minutes every day, that's over an hour. <clears throat> so it's basically like going to a yoga class, but without going to the yoga class, okay? We're we on, fourth one, hip hinge. So remember that really important movement. Soften your knees, stick your bum out, hands just there, push your hips back, and then come back up. So you might have a tendency to round your back, we don't want that. We want that lifted up. All the movement comes from right here, okay? So it's called the hip hinge, because the hip is where it comes from, okay? So looking at this, yeah? Okay, so remember keeping this all nice and straight, just moving from here. Remember this is the one for the booty. So if you don't want male or female, everybody loves a good bum. Sticking that bum out, arching your back, 
leaning forward, nice straight back. Okay, only one more. Finishing off with that lunge and twist, stretching on the insides of the hips. Okay, so last one. We get down on the ground, in that plank position. And if you're struggling to stay up like that, it's okay if you're on a lunge forward, drop that back knee and then do the twist, okay? If you can't quite keep it up, just drop it down to do the twist, okay? Off we go then. Lunge forward, twist out, and down. Lunge forward, twist out, and down. Remember as much twist as you can. And like I just said, if you need to lunge, drop the knee, then do the twist. Lunge, drop the knee, then do the twist. And again, once you get a bit stronger, once this all gets a bit looser, you will be able to keep that knee up. All right, that's everything. All done for this good morning, get moving workout. Like I was just saying in that, uh, which one was it? Like in the frog squat, if you add this workout in every morning, it's only 10 minutes. What's waking up 10 minutes early to do a little bit of moving? It's gonna make you feel better. And like I said, if you do a warm shower beforehand, get the muscles all nice and warm, it's gonna be even easier, it's gonna be even better. Whew. Right, that's everything, really. So, get your pyjamas on, don't worry about getting your workout kit on, nobody's watching. Five exercises, two times round, ten minutes, get you moving, get you warm. I feel a lot looser, because I felt really tight today from my leg day a couple days ago, around my back and my hamstrings. That does feel a little bit better now, so I'm glad for that. Give this a go, add it into your morning routine, let me know how you get on, and I'll see you in the next one.